So you must go about a centimetre outside the orbital rim. Okay, so everyone, can everyone put their fingers on the orbital rim? Okay? Okay? So you want to be a centimetre outside that. So why do you want to be a centimetre outside? So you tend to give three injections. So you feel the orbital rim, you give three injections, one at the level of the ascanthus, one above, one below. Okay? So everyone's crow's feet is slightly different. Some people it's more lower here, <coughs> some people have done way up here. So we tend to be three and So it's the fat pads. So you have fat pads supporting your eye like all glow, and they move forward like a hernia, that's when you get the puffiness. Okay. So have you ever seen people with puffy lower? Yeah. They, they might not have excess skin, but they're puffy. So they're puffy, and then below the puff is a line called the tear trough. So when you go deeper, you're more on the periosteum, and there's a periosteum channel. There's a, you know, there's a, like a, a plane that goes round behind the orbit. So if you give Botox deeply, it can track down. So cross-hatching is a technique where you put some, some horizontal um, strips of product and some vertical strips of product, making a really strong matrix within the skin like this. We can also combine them with something called a fan, or we can use a bolus, or we can use serial puncture. So again, they're all little techniques that um, we'll sort of go over on one to one. But your retrograde linear thread will get you through most things at the, at the start. Yeah. But you might need to think about combining the way you put those linear threads in to create a more robust smooth in the skin. So the bands of the curaris go this way. And the corrugator is right down in here. Now, when I come to pluck it, I won't be able to feel it because I just can't. But I know it's in there. But if you've ever done any facelifts and treatment in this area, think of it as the wonder world for the eye. <laughs> Lift and separate. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Okay, so my fingers by the There's Priscilla's. So I know I've got everything nice and safe in here. This is a deep injection, so take a nice deep breath in. You might find that you've got patients who come back to you then and say, oh, well, I've got this big line here, what are we going to do about that? So at that stage, at the review, you can add a tiny bit of treatment just above it here, and I'll talk about doses to you in, in a minute. But you can put a tiny little bit of treatment there, which will just really um, weaken that muscle, not deactivate it. Okay, so have a little look with me now and see if you can feel this. So, what can I do? Put your pencil on and Because we don't have to do any um, so, uh, asking or anything. Like